uh, end of day 75 and uh, finished late again, finished about half past 10 so just got straight into the RV, grabbed a shower so um, yeah, bed as quickly as possible, it's um, 10 to 11 now and um, good day in the end, um, about 2700 metres climbing so slightly less than I expected but I mean, just beautiful, going up well over 8, 800 metres and um, yeah, covered about 416 kilometres, 260 miles. I didn't expect through Spain, through the, the hills of Spain, to be doing uh, 260 mile days. So definitely helped by a, a gentle tailwind and just stunning riding. I mean, I was pushing it. I was really, really trying to get the miles today. Um, just, you know, this, this I feel is one of the last big milestones, you know, just crack Spain, get through what I remember from 10 years ago to be a really tough ride. But... Today was easier than expected, and I felt I felt good in the bike. I felt quite saddle sore, but um, you know that's uh, nothing to worry about. Um, so first thing in the morning, I'm pretty near Madrid now, so I'll set off at four as usual and um, sort of skirt Madrid, um, and we're going to stop at sort of a, a point and sort of mark the antipodal point, the point on the opposite side of the world from Wellington, and um, I think the British ambassador for. Um, Spain's going to come out and uh, possibly even ride with me for a, for a while. Um, it, it's just fantastic all the way around the globe to have the support from the British embassies. That's uh, that's been a part of the the big puzzle, which is which is all helped. Um, are you happy with how things have gone today, Laura? I think you've done brilliantly today. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good. I think you know the expectations of Spain was that it would be it would be tough, so it's quite nice to crack yesterday straight off the plane and get a decent <laughs> mileage, and then today to. You know, do more than target. Yeah. And obviously, 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 getting less sleep, but. Yeah, but then you have still kept the consistency of the sleep in both of those breaks. Like yeah. Even just a bit of quiet time for five minutes, I think, resets you, doesn't it? One of the advantages on the last leg is we're not having to account for any time zone changes, so um, that gives me an extra ten minutes, which might sound daft, but it makes all the difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah great. All right, sleep and um, and crack on tomorrow. It's crazy because I'm hearing of. You know, my wife and family and friends and all getting ready to fly out to Paris, which makes it feel pretty real that, um, you know, we're getting there. That you are. Sleep time. Sleep. <laughs>